Yeah, let's start. Actually, before I stand on this stage, I was quite curious that who ordered this TED Talk because I'm going to talk about the exact same topic, social media, and let's just dive in. Social media changes our life. I put this sentence here as a fact, a statement, rather than a hypothesis to start my speech as a premise. Undoubtedly, social media, internet, and all its byproducts has made our life in general more easier. For example, the clothes I'm wearing here right now is delivered by Shunfeng Express, by a pretty famous online application called Taobao. Maybe Pinduoduo also. I believe most of you guys here are pretty familiar with that. But today I'm not going to talk about all these obvious changes that bring by social media and also internet. I'm going to talk about the implicit part. Is that how social media actually enhances gender stereotype, and how this affects gender equality and social study? So let's dive in. Before my analysis actually starts, I want to invite all you guys to conduct a social experiment with me. So now it's pretty simple. Please turn on your cell phone. Turn on your cell phone, please, and open WeChat. Relax. I'm not here to destroy your teenage romance. Okay. Open WeChat. Make sure the teacher is not by your side. That's pretty important. And all you have to do is pretty easy. Find someone you have recently chatted with. Okay. And just to count how many memes, emojis, inflections you have used in ten sentences. That means how many 表情包 or 语气词 you have used in ten sentences. That's quite easy, I believe. Okay, so now the results are clear. So if you use more than five memes, emojis, inflection, all count in. Please get me a smile. Okay, although you wear masks, but I can still count. And these you do not use more than five. Just keep silence. Okay. So an interesting phenomenon has just revealed. You can see that more than 80% of people who have just smiled to me, they're female. Vice versa, but those 20 rest are male. That's quite interesting. So I question a lot of my friends, like why? All my female friends, they told me that they use these kind of. Sorry. Okay. So all my female friends, they told me that they use these memes emojis to create a likable feeling, to make themselves sound more friendly and also more adorable. While all my male friends, they gave me a distinct answer. One of my friends who just enrolled by Stanford University, who really used memes and emojis in his conversation, told me that he thinks these things are a bit childish. He thinks that he is not. Even enough to use these things because he considers him as a mature people. In other words, he wants to make himself more more like a man. Okay, and that's the question. That revealed what is actually hidden by a different chatting style. It is just the different standards, different social standards for female and male. Now, though it's in the 21st century. Though we now all agree that male and female are born equal, these hidden inequalities still exist. Chat logs are an epitome of how these social standards, how these different stereotypes, actually shaped our behavior, actually controlled our day-to-day -day life. It provides a visualized and also valuable material to tell us we're actually manipulated by all these social standards. Just think. Are these things actually a necessity to use when you're chatting? What's actually behind this is that I start to consider: What can I bring to my community? We all know that the idea, the key, the core of TED and TEDx talk is ideas worth spreading. And I'm always really curious about how can my small observation bring some change to my community. And one day, I'm just browsing my Instagram front page, and I saw a quote from Halsey. Which really inspires me, and I want now to share it with all of you guys. 
You're not born to make anyone else's life easier. So be brave, but difficult next time when you share your thoughts, no matter how. Memes, emojis, they are cute. I like to use them a lot. But do not make them a necessity next time when you're chatting with someone else online. Also, I have further to mention that gender, sexuality, no matter you are a boy or a girl, is not a borderline. Prejudice is. Beauty, friendly, adorable, all these virtues does not only count for female. Male do. And also, I pretty consider that no one will actually judge if you are mature enough only by your chatting style. So, I have two things to call upon. First, stop. Stop judging others based on their chatting style, their appearance, their dressing. And also step. Step one step further out of the borderline created just by prejudice and discrimination. Thank you.